In this episode, I'm showing you how to use the brand spanking new Cricut Joy cutaway cards with the Cricut Joy. So let's get crafty. Hey, I'm Michael, and this is another Cricut tutorial for beginners. And y'all, this is a highly requested one, more in general about the overall topic, and that being the Cricut Joy. I cannot tell you how often I am asked to do more Cricut Joy tutorials, so here y'all go. <laughs> so we are actually using the brand new Cricut Joy cutaway cards today, and I'm actually really intrigued by this. It is like a new spin on the traditional Cricut Joy cards. I actually have not tried it as of yet. This is my first time, so we are gonna go through here and we're gonna do it together. So wish me luck. So the first thing we'll need is actually a design to do on our cards, right? And we have actually been rolling out some brand new designs, some brand new SVG files over on crafty.net that is basically made specifically for the Cricut Joy cutaway cards. So here is one of them right here. I think this is just super cute. And at the time of filming this, I mean, it's just, it's super appropriate, am I right? So what I'm gonna do is come over here and actually change this file because I don't necessarily need the entire zip file. All I really need is the, is the SVG file. So let me go in here, use this little drop down menu and click on SVG and then click on download. And then let's go ahead and come over here to Cricut Design Space. And as you can see, I do have this already downloaded and uploaded into Cricut Design Space. And if you're not entirely sure how to do that, I do have a full playlist with different devices on how exactly to do that down in that description box below. So be sure to check that out. But as far as this goes, like the Cricut Joy cutaway cards, these are made to be 4.25 inches by five and a half inches. So what I'm gonna do is just go in here and create a quick template to resize our design on. So let me come over here and click on shapes and let me open up a square. And then let me come up here towards the top of the screen and change the size of this. Now, since this design is going horizontally, we actually need that measurement, the larger of the two measurements to be going horizontally. So the five and a half inches will be going for the width. Let me put in here 5.5 and the height will be 4.25. However, since that little padlock is locked, we do need to go ahead and unlock that first. And then we can go ahead and change the height to be 4.25, just like so. All right, so let's go ahead and right click our design and click on send it back. And wouldn't you know it, take a look at that. Our designers have already made this to fit perfectly on the Cricut Joy cutaway card. So yeah, we just try to make this as easy as possible. Everything about crafty.net is meant to be easy. All the files are optimized to work effortlessly with your cutting machine, whether that be a Cricut Joy, Cricut Maker, Cricut Explorer, you know, it could be a Silhouette, a Brother Scan and Cut, a StarCraft Solo, whatever it is, I mean, even like a Glowforge or whatever, I mean, you name it. And we have done everything in our power to make the files as effortless and easy to use as possible. And if you ever run into any issues, you can reach out to our member support team. They are amazing, like top notch. And you can even go ahead and come in here to the bottom right hand side of those sites and actually use like this brand new little live chat feature right there. I am just all about that all the way through. <laughs> all right, but as far as what we're gonna to need to do over here in Cricut Design Space, let me go ahead and just delete out our little template. And since I do have more than one machine, I do wanna make sure that I do have the Cricut Joy selected up here. But let's go ahead and come over here and click on Make It. Now we are gonna be using the On Card Mat, so I will select that and then Continue. And I do wanna go in here and just kind of make sure that our design is kind of centered in here inside of that card just like so. And we also wanna come over here and make sure that our correct card size is selected. So our options is the 4.25 by 5.5. And again, I'm just going off of the measurement that's here on the actual cutaway cards itself. So that's what we're using. And let's come down here towards the bottom right and click on continue. Now let's go in here and actually pick out the card details that we're wanting. So we need the actual insert as well as the actual card itself. So let's take a look here. All right, so here are what seems to be the inserts. Super cute, like I really, really love that gold. Really love that gold. And then as far as what we're gonna be using for the actual card itself, we have the option of like this really cool navy, which is really nice. We also have like this blush pink, and we also have like this more of like a lilac lavender color as well. I'm thinking since this is like an Easter card, I think we should probably go with that lilac lavender. I think that has a little bit more contrast with that gold. It might look just a little bit better, but I mean, that was a close call, so. I'm really, really liking this so far. And it also comes like these little envelopes as well. Super cute. But where the magic really comes into play is with, with this little adhesive film right here on the inside of the card. So what I'm gonna do is actually go ahead and peel this off. And then we can go ahead and take our little insert right here and then just place it over here on top of this adhesive. 
And so whenever we're actually inserting this into our little card mat, like right here, which this does already have the actual film removed from the front already. So this is actually a little sticky. What we're gonna do now is make sure that the side with the actual insert, that this is actually on the top or on the front of the mat. So let me go ahead and slide in the back side of the card into this little Cricut Joy card mat like so. And make sure that the card is actually scooted all the way up towards the top before closing this down like so. All right, so now let's go ahead and come over here and actually click on Browse All Materials. And I'm gonna put in here Cutaway. All right, so Cutaway Card and Backer, and then we'll click on Done. All right, so let's go ahead and load this into the Cricut Joy. And from there, all we need to do is come back over here to our screen and click on Go at the bottom right. All right, so now we can go ahead and come over here to the screen, click on Unload and then we can actually make some of this magic happen. So first things first, I do wanna go ahead and unload this from the mat. And then as our little card here goes, we do need to just go in here and kind of weed out the negative spaces like so. Now what I absolutely love about this and what I think is actually pretty genius with these Cricut cutaway cards is that unlike the traditional Cricut Joy cards, those, they're basically all connected together. You have to have like more like stencil-like fonts. Basically every piece that's out there has to be connected to the main piece of cardstock as a whole or otherwise it's not gonna stay there. It's not gonna stick or anything like that. With this, there's no such problem. Basically everything is gonna stick exactly where you want it and honestly, like the little letters and everything are kind of just like floating there. Technically they're sticking where they're supposed to be, but overall super nice, super quick, super easy to do. So if you wanna learn more about how to best use your Cricut cutting machine, then you definitely want to consider stamping that subscribe button and also consider ringing that little bell for all of the notifications because I'm putting out brand new Cricut tutorials multiple times every single week. And I promise you do not want to miss out on a single Cricut or even sublimation, or even a Glowforge Minute. I promise you that. Also, if you liked this video, if you learned anything new, please consider taking just a few quick seconds to stamp that like button and drop a comment down in the comment section below. Both of those things are absolutely free to do, and it really helps me out so much here on this channel, so thank you so much in advance for that. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all to the freaking moon and back, and until next time, stay crafty.